So I guess this officially ends any possibility of Mark Ingram reuniting with the Baltimore Ravens because not only did they activate Melvin Gordon to the active roster, but in a surprising move, the Baltimore Ravens, they added another running back to the practice squad, that being the legend from Maryland, Mr. Jake Funk. And with Jake Funk, he was born in Gaithersburg. He... Went to Damascus, from Damascus, and then he even went to the University of Maryland. So he got Maryland written all over him. Now, he did get drafted by the Rams and played a little bit with the Colts. We'll forgive him for that. But now he is a Baltimore Raven. And this move, in my opinion, this not only speaks for the present because <laughs> – San Francisco 49ers they have a rarity at the running back position just like Jank Funk is a rarity at the running back position I'm gonna say what it is but anyway he is now a Baltimore Raven and this is a move for both the present and in my opinion the future as well now we're gonna get into exactly what I mean when I say that but before we do make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel turn your notifications on and leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a ton and also before we get into this Let's hear a quick word from our sponsor. We made it to December. And although this marks the end of the year, that doesn't mean the goals stop. So do yourself a favor and get factor so you can enjoy the meals without the hassle. Simply just choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor packed meals delivered right to your door. Ready in just two minutes with no prep and no mess. And don't think factors just for dinner. Oh, no, 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 no. You can count on this extra convenience at any time of the day with an assortment of over 55 add-ons to suit various preferences and tastes. You can choose from quick breakfast items, lunch to go, grab and go snacks, and ready to drink cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies just like these. Things toward the end of the year tend to pick up and get a lot busier. So why not do yourself a favor and cut down on trips to the grocery store, which results in less cooking. So there's more time for you to watch these playoff seed determining football games at this point of the season. And factors flexible too. You can easily adjust the size of your order. You can enjoy it with loved ones. Or if you have a special event coming up, you can even skip it. We can get right back to it later. Factor makes it easy for you. And I know you're probably thinking, this sounds too easy to be true. How easy are these factor meals to make? Let me show you. That's it. That's all it took. But how can you get started with your Factor Meals? Well, let me tell you. Just head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, just head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. So team, keep it clean. What does Jake Funk bring to these Baltimore Ravens? Now, shout out to my guy, Game of God 29 because he said, we got the white Keaton Mitchell. We are so back now jake funk he did run a 4-4 at his pro day so he got some speed now now i wouldn't call it keaton mitchell speed but he certainly got some speed of his own one thing that i do like about jake funk now keep in mind he is on a practice squad he's not on the active roster but what the baltimore ravens could do they could sort of use him as a their own ver now he's not christian mccaffrey he's not c mac i ain't saying that and i don't want to say that because i feel like that would be very lazy because he's not on that level. Not saying he can't get there one day with enough opportunity, but he is not Christian McCaffrey. So don't think that. We are not saying that at all. But what the Baltimore Ravens could possibly do, especially this week, I mean, they're going to be going up against the American in a couple of days. They could use Jake Funk as the, on the scout team for Christian McCaffrey. Uh, because Jake Funk can do some different things. Not, again, not saying that he's on the level of a Christian McCaffrey, but... He can catch some passes out of the backfield, and he got a good amount of speed at the running back position. Now, one thing I do like about Jake Funk with his running style, he, in my opinion, he has a, a no-nonsense style of running. Um, because today I was watching his stuff from Maryland. I uh, saw a little bit of his stuff from the Rams and, and a little tiny bit from the Colts as well. Jake Funk is not a running back that's going to be out in the backfield dancing around. He ain't one of them running backs that's trying to shake somebody, that's trying to make somebody miss like that. He'll make his little quick cuts and whatnot, but it ain't going to be nothing too crazy. He is a, look, I'm, I'm running north and south. I ain't playing no games. I'm just trying to get these yards. I'm trying to get this first down. I'm trying to get these touchdowns. That's it, straight up. So with the Baltimore Ravens, I feel like after a couple of weeks, he could be somebody, in my opinion, that I could see them given an opportunity to now 
we know that we got the playoffs like literally around the corner. We only got three games left. Uh, so I could see him getting some ga- some action in the last game of the regular season uh, against the Steelers, but also him sort of sort of being a secret weapon for the Baltimore Ravens come playoff time. Reason I say that, and I ain't trying to overhype no practice squad running back or anything like that, but I, I would think these Baltimore Ravens they know something about talent at the running back position. And they really know, sometimes we question when they when they give some people more usage or less usage than others and whatnot. But bottom line, the Baltimore Ravens do know how to get the most out of a running back. So I could see a thing because because who thought who would have thought that an undrafted rookie free agent like Keaton Mitchell, like we saw, who would have thought that an undrafted rookie free that we all be super upset about an undrafted rookie free agent running back missing the rest of the season for the Baltimore Ravens. Who would have thought that? At the beginning of the year, we wouldn't have thought that at all because we would have been like, oh, undrafted rookie free agent running back. Oh, okay, well, if he makes a team, we'll see, but he'll probably be on special teams or something like that. But no, Keaton Mitchell had a huge impact on these Baltimore Ravens in such a short amount of time. So with Jake Funk, if he gets some opportunity – I think that he could do some stuff, do some damage for the Baltimore Ravens. But I think, again, I think later on in the season, they may call him up for a game here and there, give him some little carries here and there, start let, let him get his feet wet because he's only had, I, I want to say, like four carries in regular season action. Uh, there were two for the Rams, and then I think maybe he had two for the Colts. But he just he hasn't had much, any opportunity at all uh, on the NFL level yet. So while like with Keaton Mitchell, he ain't have no opportunity in NFL level. All his opportunity before this year, well, this year, it was in preseason. That's where Jake Funk has got most of his opportunity. It's just been in preseason games. It has not been a regular season game, but we saw what happened with Keaton Mitchell. All he needed was a chance. So with Jake Funk, and again, all the pressure, it's not like all the pressure will be on him anyway. Because you still got a Justice Hill, you still got a Gus Edwards, you still got Melvin Gordon too. But Jake Funk could come in here. And do some damage Now another thing with him too uh, I feel like this is a move for the now But also for the future With Keaton Mitchell Speaking of Keaton Mitchell um, I, I feel like with Keaton Mitchell He had sort of the J.K. Dobbins treatment What I mean when I say that With J.K. Dobbins I felt like And I think, I think we all knew that the, the Ravens were trying to give him the keys They were like J.K. Dobbins here The team is yours You'll be our main running back Here it's, it's all yours And when you think about this offense The way that the Ravens do things in this offense J.K. Dobbins would have been perfect for it. But um, he kept getting hurt. So I felt like the Ravens were like, all right, we, we got to take these keys back. We can't give them to you. With Keaton Mitchell, and I said this throughout this year, I felt like that next year that he would have been the Ravens guy. He would have been the Ravens starting running back, and then they would have figured out everything else behind him. But he would have been their main focus at the running back position. While that is still possible, I just feel like the Ravens, they won't put all their eggs into the Keaton Mitchell basket only because of this injury. He doesn't have an injury history. He's not injury prone, but this injury with it possibly, especially because the timing of it is so bad, it came right at the end of this season. uh, It could possibly maybe linger into next year, but I don't think the Ravens are going to be like, all right, this running back coming off of an ACL tear, uh, he's going to be our number one guy. I just don't see them doing that i think he'll still get plenty of opportunities especially because ravens have him for like the next three four years he's on a very very cheap 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 contract and we know that he can give big big production um but with jake funk i think that this could be for them signing him now this could sort of be an audition for him for next year not saying that he would be the start i'm not saying that but he could be auditioning for a role on the baltimore ravens team Next year, because we've seen this happen time and time again, Ravens will make these late season additions, the late season signings, and they'll be like, oh, okay, we do really like you. And then that person ends up being on the team next year. And then the following year to like with Kevon Seymour, I know he was definitely one. Raven signed Kevon Seymour, and I was like, Who, who's Kevon Seymour? And then he ended up just sticking with the team for the past couple of years. So you, you never know. This may seem like a small signing. It is a small signing, but it could be one of those things where you possibly get some significant production out of it not saying he's gonna pop off for a thousand yards not even 500 yards but you you just never know what could happen and remember last time 
The Baltimore Ravens, they had brought somebody on who was from Maryland, played at Maryland, then they got to play for the Ravens. That person ended up winning the Super Bowl. So, and it, it was in the second year. I know this will be Jake Funk's first year with the Ravens, but eh, scratch all that. Hopefully the same results end up going down.